Welcome to video 5.3 G. Uh, we'll be dealing with crook problems. They're really fun. I don't know of any geometry teacher that does not agree with that. If some geometry teacher doesn't think it's fun, I think they're crazy. So here we go. I've got examples six and seven. Uh, the basis of this is Euclid's fifth postulate. Through a point not on a line, there is exactly one parallel line to the given line. So we will be allowed to draw an auxiliary line and state that it is parallel and it is the only one. Okay? Mathematicians argued for centuries over this, some tried to prove it, just they died not being able to do it. All right, so find the measure of angle one. Uh, and let's also agree that when we give an angle, uh, it's inside um, uh, that little crook there. So it's not this larger angle, it's that one right there. Okay, so I'm going to start by drawing a parallel line right through that vertex. Okay, once I do that, oh, if you're 40 degrees, you're going to be 40 degrees there, that little chunk. If you're 100, over here you won't be 100, you'll be supplementary to 100, you'll be 80. So then angle 1 is 80, I'll just put it down here, angle 1 equals 80 degrees plus 40 degrees equals 120 degrees. Over here we got a double crook problem, double the fun. Okay, so find the measure of x. Again, it's going to be the uh, angle inside there. We do have a right angle there. So now I'm going to draw a parallel line through that vertex and a parallel line through that vertex. All right, so I'm trying to find x. If I could find that chunk and that chunk, it'd be good to go. 20 there, 20 there, alternate interior angles. Um, to find this chunk, you need that chunk. Uh, to find this chunk, I'm going to do the following. If you're 100 degrees there, then right here, you're going to be supplementary. You're going to be 80 degrees. Same side interior supplementary. But if this whole thing is a right angle, it's 90. So that chunk there is 80. That chunk there is 10. Well, if that's 10 there, then I know it's going to be 10 degrees over here because I've got alternate interior angles. Well, then x is going to be 10 plus 20. So x equals 10 plus 20 equals 30 or 30 degrees. So there you have it, how to do two fun crook problems all based on Euclid's fifth postulate. 